What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and a lot of people have been asking me what is the best programming language to learn right now in 2022. So in this video, I am going to address that and I also give you extras. So be sure to watch the whole video. All right. And if this was your first time coming to this channel, go down there and click on subscribe and also hit the bell so that you see all our future videos. So right now, there are hundreds of programming languages to pick from, and it's really difficult to pick one, especially when you're a beginner. So in this video, I'm going to give you 10 most marketable programming languages right now. Before we go into the content now, let me explain something. So for you to be able to work in a software field, you have to know at least four programming languages. Usually you'll be having one main language and then three supporting languages. So if you ask any software developer out there, that person will tell you that he or she is using more than one language. So if you want to follow the path of software development, you have to be prepared to learn more than one language. So for you to understand the software world, let me first give you an example of things that you already know. Let's talk about cars. So if you have someone that stays at a farm and then you buy that person a Bugatti. That car would be that car is obviously valuable to other people, but to that person, that car will be useless because that person will not be able to use that car for things for the things that he does each and every day. But if you give that Bugatti to someone who stays in the city, uh, that car will be very useful. So what I'm saying is that when you want to buy a car, right? What will help you choose the car to buy is what you want to use that car for. So that also applies in the software world. The field of IT that you want to pursue is what will help you decide on which programming language to learn. So I'll be explaining each and every language, where its strengths and way you can use that language and that will help you to choose the right language for you. And these programming languages are not in any particular order, so you have to watch the full video. So on number one, we have Python. And this is very beginner friendly because it is very easy to learn and it's very close to the English language, the language that you use every day. Because you see that when you're programming in Python, the ways that you use or the syntax that you'll be using is close, close, close to the English language. Even if I give you right now a Python code, you will have a slight idea of what will be happening because the language that is used there, the ways that I use them are very close to the language that we use every day. And it also has an extensive library that supports commands and tasks. And uh, Python can be used in things like machine learning, web application, data science, game development, and apps like YouTube, Google Search also use Python. And Python is one of the most marketable and in demand programming languages right now in 2022. Even if you go to any job portal that you, you use, you see that if you just type in Python, you will see a lot of our vacancies that will be looking for Python developers. And on number two, we have JavaScript and do not confuse JavaScript and Java. Those are two different languages. So let's talk about JavaScript first. We are going to talk about Java later on. So this is one of the most commonly used languages in the world right now. And it is used to create dynamic web elements like animated uh, graphics, interactive maps, uh, clickable buttons. The list is endless basically all front-end development. And uh, you can also use it for mobile apps as well, game development, and also building web servers. So all those things can be done using uh, JavaScript. And it's very marketable. Right now, if you go and look for jobs that require uh, skills to do with um, JavaScript, you will be impressed. So if you master JavaScript, you increase your chance of getting into the software world by getting a job. And on number three, we have Java, and this is a general use object oriented uh, programming language. Uh, this one is massive security and can handle massive amount of data and can effectively run on any operating system. We have different operating systems out there and with Java, you'll be able to uh, build applications that can run on any of those um, operating systems. And Java can be used for things like e-commerce, uh, software development and also for Android app development. And I should also mention that the Android development community is a bit saturated right now and Java is also a little bit difficult uh, to learn and understand compared to uh, uh, Python and uh, other languages. So you should be very careful when you choose Java. But otherwise, you, if you manage to master it, you definitely get a job. 
And on number four, we have C sharp, which is spelled as C in hashtag. And this one is also easy to learn, but not as easy as Python. On, on this list that I'm going to give you, Python is the language that is easy to learn. But C sharp is relatively easy as well. And to beginners, it might be a little bit challenging to learn. So you should start maybe with Python, which is easy. And then once you get into programming, you can branch to C sharp. This was originally designed by Microsoft and it can be used for game development, for desktop and web uh, applications and also in visual reality development. And on number five, we have C++ and this is one of the most powerful high level languages, but it's a little bit lower compared to C Sharp and Python. Meaning to say it is it's more difficult to learn and understand. And projects written in C++ are also difficult to maintain and manage. And you can use C++ to build mobile applications, game engines, games, uh, web applications, desktop apps as well. On number six, we have HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So this one is not really a, a programming language, it's, it's rather a markup language. And it's used for creating structured content for websites. It's very easy to learn, uh, but be prepared to learn CSS and JavaScript as well because it does not work on its own. It's just a little bit limited when you're doing web development with, with HTML. But if you master CSS and JavaScript, your results will be way, way better compared to when you're only using HTML. And if you get yourself an HTML cheat sheet, you'll be able to, to develop websites in, 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 a, in a couple of days using that cheat sheet. So you can go ahead and uh, try it out and see if that is something that you want to follow as a career path. And on number seven, we have PHP. And this one was not originally meant to be a programming language. It was originally created by Rasmus Lidov to personalize his homepage. So that's where the word uh, PHP came from. That's where the name came from. And it is a scripting language running on the server side, uh, not the client side. So uh, that's PHP and it's relatively easy even for new developers. So it's easy to learn. So you can go ahead and try it out. And you can use this for backend development and also for WordPress uh, development. And on number eight, we have SQL or SQL. And this is structured query language. It is the most common language used for managing data stored in a relational database management systems. So basically, this is used for querying and manipulating databases. And moving on to number nine, we have CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And it works in conjunction with HTML, as we have mentioned earlier on. And this is used to style web page structures and layout and also content. So in other words, this works on the client side, okay, not the server side like um, PHP. So like HTML, if you want to learn CSS, you also have to learn HTML because it does not work on its own. You have to learn other languages as well, like HTML. So if you want to be a CSS programmer, you should be prepared to learn uh, HTML. And last but not least, we have the ancestor of all programming languages, which is C. And this was released in 1972. It has a slightly cryptic syntax and it's very difficult to understand. But after mastering C, it will be easy to learn all the other languages. And you can use C for building things like operating systems, uh, game development, and also compilers for other languages. So that's why I said earlier on that this is the ancestor of most programming languages. And you can also use it to develop enterprise softwares. So this is it, guys. These are the 10 most marketable programming languages right now in 2022. Obviously, there are other languages that can get you a job, but these are my top 10 picks. So let us know what you think there on the comment section about this list that I've just given you. And again, for you to be able to choose wisely, first choose the field of IT that you want to pursue, and that will also help you in deciding on the language to learn. And as always, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've liked this video. And if this was your first time coming to this channel, go down there and click on subscribe and also hit that bell so that you see all our future videos. My name is Duke of Tech. See you in the next one.